you guys, art is my jam. I've been a teacher for 10 years and every single year I've taught some form of art from painting, drawing, um, graphic design, all kinds of stuff from kindergarten through um, seniors. And so I just love art. I love anything that helps develop um, creativity and imagination in kids. So I want to walk through some of Osborne's amazing art books. So this is like the best, the ultimate. This is the Usborne Big Book of Colors and it is super popular. It walks through what different colors are, has a table of contents, has a fun color wheel that teaches where colors are and how they're related to each other. And then it gives you fun colors for each page. Like there's chartreuse and there's racing green and there's sage. So it kind of goes into more detail on every single color. I bet high schoolers don't even know all of these colors. It's really fun. And then the best page is back here. It's this fun see-through page that helps you learn how to change and mix colors. It's just really cool. Um, it has even color theory on the moods that are evoked by different colors. So this is a fantastic one for kids and adults of all ages. The next one I'm going to do um, is for babies. Kind of the same concept, but scaled down a little bit. And it's more of a find the thing with the right color. It has, helps with words and vocabulary, but lots of different bright colors. And then a look back and find. So already working on early color identification. And then we have a fun flat book for younger kids, the little red penguins flat book. And each little flap opens and tells you, hey, it's me, orange fish. And so it walks through color identification in a fun and age appropriate way. And then we have art history. This was one of my minors in college. So I love anything that walks through the history um, and stories behind art. So what this one does, is it has beautiful pictures, again a table of contents, focus on literacy, um, and then it tells you a little bit about, so this one's about Vincent Van Gogh, a little bit about who he is and how he created his art, and then it gives you a project and where you can create art that's similar in style to that artist. And so it has tons of them, there's all different cultures, Europe, Asia, um, underwater, fun things, different African things, so it's really a multicultural um, and great history book connection to history, art, and literacy, so a fun one. Maybe you yourself like some art. We have a big line of coloring books. This is a doodle book, a drawing, doodle, and coloring. If you can see, there's fun things that you can complete, um, draw by yourself, or fill in different things. So there's doodling, coloring, all kinds of stuff. I take these on airplanes with me, with me when I travel with a thing of colored pencils. Um, so I just, I love coloring. Maybe you wanna keep one in your purse. So we have the pocket size. This is about a five by five. Same concept, you can fill things in, color things, a really, a really fun thing to throw in your bag. We have a line of drawing books. This is I Can Draw Animals, and it walks through how to draw things based on geometric shapes. And this is how we teach kids to draw in art classes. You start with a geometric shape and then add more geometric shapes and then transform them into a beautiful picture. And so this is one of our younger geared books um, that teaches kids how to draw animals. Maybe you're not a drawer, but you like to build stuff. And so we have a whole line of paper crafts and this is paper spaceships. And it has fun directions here at the beginning of all these different kinds of spaceships that you can build. And then it has easy to tear out fun pieces of paper, origami paper. So it's that um, sturdy but yet foldable paper if you've ever done origami. So a great option. My daughter loves this book. This is fingerprint activities and we have another one that's animal activities. And so the concept is it comes with this ink pad and paper pages and you use your child's fingerprints or your fingerprints to complete this story. So it's really fun. Um, I like to tear these out and frame them so you always have a little memento of your kids. So a great just activity book. And then we have lots of sticker books. So we have girls, boys, kind of gender neutral. And this one is heroes. And so you have different little scenes here. So this is secret agents. And then you flip back to the back and you find the stickers that go with your, your um, characters. And so it has a little descriptive things for each sticker of like what the function is of each of these little activities here. So it's a really cool way to learn and have fun. I love this one. We have a lot of fashion sticker books and this one's 1960s. I love the pop culture of that with Twiggy and all of that. And so it walks through different history and different cultures 
Um, our sticker books are great with introducing cultures. But here you go, here's a list of London, Pop, Mods, At The Office. And so it's a fun book. Let me find another one. So here's At The Office. It gives you some history here. So there's Jackie O, um, a style icon. So it gives history and fun. Just that another way to explore creativity. And the last one I want to share is Press Out Paper Town. This is so fun. Um, what it does, I can get it open here, is this is what you build at the end of this book. And so it has super sturdy cardboard pages on it. You can tell how thick those are. And you punch out each of these little um, pictures and they slot together to build a fun town that looks similar to this. And you can um, use your imagination to tell stories. So it's a building an early um, introduction to architecture and 3D design. So Esmeralda has so many creative books um, to get your kids learning and engaging those imaginations.